Right now, a state election board meeting is happening where the board is reviewing voter challenges and complaints. Liza Lucas is live for us at the Capitol. Liza, so this meeting comes after some voters allege their attempt to correct voter rolls are not being processed by their own counties. That's right, Aisha. In fact, those complaints led the Republican majority of the state election board to call for an independent investigation into some of those complaints, some of those challenges. And we were supposed to learn of the findings of that report today. Now, so far, the morning really has been consumed overwhelmingly by public comment. But we want to remind you that Georgia law does allow for voters to challenge the registration of another voter with proof. Supporters say such challenges prevent fraud by rooting out duplicates at records and removing voters who've moved out of state, while opponents allege they misuse data and can disenfranchise legitimate voters. Now, today's meeting comes after the board passed several new rule, rules recently amid contentious meetings, divided votes, and legal challenges, while the board majority and supporters of those rules maintain that they're necessary to ensure confidence in the election. Take a listen to both sides. We have discovered double counted ballots, deleted ballot images, machine malfunctions that skip counting ballots. State Election Board, I'm asking you to declare a state of emergency today to secure our elections. This election was not stolen. We all know that. There is a minority that believes it was, and you are letting them hijack a system that works. The point of this board is not to legislate or execute. It's to provide rules to make sure our elections are fair. Again, that is perspective from both sides. It's very much a room divided once again today, the state election board meeting. Now they have started hearing some of those cases and they dismissed a batch from the start. We're gonna keep you posted here on the latest from the meeting, but we also need to note this was supposed to be the final election board meeting prior to the November election. However, several board members floated the idea of an additional meeting ahead of November. That was not decided on as of yet. We'll keep you posted on any final Finalized plans. Live at the Capitol, Liza Lucas, 11 Alive News. Thank you, Liza. Pivoting now to the president.